There's nothing much better than walking amongst the sea of green at a bonsai nursery in the early morning hours. The light sits just right on the branches, making the shadows dance on the trunks, and the sounds of the birds chirping all but make one forget about the surrounding concrete jungle and city bustle. It's in this environment that the bonsai apprentices at Fujikawa Kokaian Nursery in Osaka operate each day, from sunup to sundown. But honestly, despite the rigor of a traditional Japanese apprenticeship, the early morning solitude surrounded by nature in miniature makes the long hours and everyday difficulties seem all but incidental. For me, being back in Japan and returning to Kokaen, where I spent nearly a decade studying, it feels as if nothing has really changed. And honestly, it's a good reminder that slowing down and focusing on only the necessary is what makes a bonsai nursery operate at its best. The repetition, the seemingly mundane everyday tasks are what builds quality bonsai over the months, years, and decades. All too often, we, myself included, find ourselves caught up in the rat race of social media and instant gratification culture, photographing and filming every aspect of our lives, skipping through endless clips online, getting bored with anything that lasts longer than 15 seconds. I think bonsai is the perfect antithesis of this modern culture. It necessitates slowing down, thinking about the future, and how one's decisions now will impact a tree's development 10, 20, 30 years down the line. You can see this in many of the legacy bonsai at Kokaen, some of which have been in development here for 30 or more years. The slow, methodical, everyday maintenance that's been applied to these trees over those decades has manifested in their current state of seeming perfection. It's not an instant transformation, but rather something that only arises through the rote application of proper technique at just the right time in each season. With the current season being summer, one of the most important of these techniques is watering. Each day, the apprentices check the bonsai at Kokaen four times, starting in the early morning hours. Proper water application is perhaps the most frustrating technique to learn as a bonsai apprentice, as each day the variables of temperature, sun exposure, wind, and humidity shift and affect the speed at which the trees become dry. Not only that, but each species has its own moisture requirements for proper growth and development. Knowing when, how often, and how much water to provide each tree is paramount in its development and longevity as a bonsai.
As the summer temperatures swing into the extreme, many if not all of the trees at Kolkaen will require some form of shading from the hot afternoon sun. Kandesha, or retractable shade cloth, is extended over these bonsai from mid-morning through late afternoon each day. The odd hanging tassels are meant to block any additional sun that might penetrate through the gaps between each section of shade cloth. Perhaps one of the most overlooked aspects of shading bonsai is the necessity of placing the 30 to 40% shade cloth as far above the apices of the trees as possible. This allows for maximal airflow, further regulating the temperature beneath. Positioning of each tree relative to the optimal shading location in the nursery is one of the summer seasonal tasks undertaken by the apprentices each year at Kolkaen. Slight changes in location within the nursery can greatly affect the growth outcomes of certain bonsai. ちょっと、ちょっと、うまく切り広げてみて。で、これは切って。はい。で、また動いたらこれとこれはやっといて。はい。お願いします。はい。もう英語ぐらいまでは行ってみ。いいよ。はい、もうちょい。オッケーです。